So moving forward, when uh, when the federal agents came and got me, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, how the fuck did he know my name? Like, I don't even know his name. Right. And he don't know my name. So come to find out, uh -oh. he did not know my name. So, and H-Town is not an alias for me. Mm. So, I'm like, okay, he didn't know my name. He didn't have a, a alias. How did they find me? Yeah. So, come to find out, I just turned pro boxing. And, you know, I started off with uh, my first three fights with three first-round knockouts. Okay. And I'm, I composed a DVD of the knockout and was giving it out to people, just mm -hmm. marketing myself, you know, yeah. main check. I mean, because one guy I knocked out, he was out for five minutes. Like, he was seriously, it was a one-punch KO. Like, it was my second pro fight. You knocked out a guy and he was out cold for five minutes? For five, yeah. Did I, you think he was dead? I was wondering. and, and What then, was going through your mind while you're standing there and they got the doctors I, I was worried because he was Like, I know you want to win, but you don't want to kill nobody. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't moving. And even worse, fast forward, and when the first fight when I got out of prison, I, my body had turned into, like, the Hulk. Like, I was so fit and strong. Like, it, uh -huh. I'm, like, I'm, like, 20% of what I used to be. What well, uh, what was your weight? I was, uh, when, when I got out. What was your weight or were you heavyweight? I was, I was two, I was two, uh, I was 210 when I got oh, out. So you were heavyweight. But, but when I first fought, uh, they made me the main event and I was only out for three weeks. I was like 2 27 by the time I fought. Wait a minute, Tuffy. You haven't even been out of jail three weeks. <laughs> three weeks. And you they end up. Me the <laughs> and, and guess what happened, though? That's, that's the worst part of the story. Yeah. I knocked the dude out, and he didn't. He was unresponsive. Like, I'm not sure if he alive or not. The first guy? No, this oh, guy. Oh, the second when guy. When I got okay, out of yeah. jail, they took him out on the stretcher, but and I never, like, uh, researched his name or to see what happened. Wow. But yeah, his name was Christopher Williams. Uh, well, you hit him from with the right hand. Right hand. What did the uppercut? Right hand. How'd well, you knock him left out? Left hook. Same shit. Oh, left, left hook. hook. And then the left hook shook him, and then I then I hit him on his way down. Mm -hmm. I hit him behind the head with the right hand. So I don't know what the hell. I was just trying to hit him yeah. to make sure he didn't get up, but he was falling. In. And then I was thinking about all the times I was in solitary confinement. I was in the hole. Because, all that was going through your mind? Yeah, and I started crying in the ring. No way. Come on, God. Tuffy. It's, it's, it's all on, on YouTube if you look it up. Oh, wow. Marenzo T. Diddy Smith. Look up any of my fights on YouTube. But yeah, Man. Subscribe to the channel. All right. So, so, so you... So you were saying that you have fought. Now you're going back to the oh, Waco. The oh, Waco oh, thing. oh, oh, okay. So, so when you I said three fights, three I had three, out. three. My first three pro fights was all first round knockouts. Uh huh. And, and you hand out these DVDs that yeah. has your name on there. No, my oh. name ain't on oh, it. Name not but on. so to do Waco, I guess I gave him one of my DVDs to show him my knockout. Yeah. And he and when he. When they caught him in Waco, mm -hmm. Southern Drug, whatever, uh -huh. they had nothing to do with me. And so he turned, he going to give him me so he can get out of trouble. Mm. And uh, he didn't know my name. He only called me H-Town. So, but he said, uh, I got one of his boxing. He a boxer. So he gave the, the, the police my boxing DVD. And the goddamn announcer announces my name, right, you know, in this corner. From Western McCauley, yeah. Houston, Texas, Marenzo T. Diddy Smith. Yeah. Bam, they got me. Oh, man. That's how it happened. I so said, were you home? Did he knock on your door? Did he bust down your door? How did how did they come get you? Okay, so this is what they did. First, they made a controlled purchase. Mm -hmm. Remember I tell you, that's how you get the well, wiretaps and the warrants. So this is crazy, Tubby. So you... Are trying to be a professional boxer, making money, but you still got your operation going at the same time. Yeah, basically, I was more, I was more of a drug dealer than a boxer. boxer yeah, 
And I realized that when they told me that boxers make millions of dollars, like Tyson, mm -hmm. Mayweather, De La Hoya. You try to transition. So No, well, the boxing... The boxing was disguising the money I had. Uh, I had so much money at the like time. It's like trying to launder it or make it yeah. seem like this is where so my money is coming had, from. So when I had, when I would pull up in new Mercedes Benzes, new Lexuses, like new, I'm a boxer. new Land Cruisers, <laughs> it looked the part of a boxer. It, it goes with the territory, gotcha. and they know a lot of famous boxers that's rolling good. They got money. It makes sense. So I was like, well, damn this, because at first they was like. How you get this? Where you work at? Yeah. What you do? Yeah. And, you know, I would go places with all kind of lavish stuff mm -hmm. and lavish things, and people be like, "Where did you? Where do you work?" Right. You know. But once I got, I heard about the boxing salaries. I got in boxing. Um, so then, when I showed, I'm saying I'm a pro boxer. Uh, all you know, signing bonus, mm -hmm. blah blah blah. You know, they gave my boy uh, Rocky Warriors a $1.2 million signing bonus coming out the Olympics. Yeah. So that was before he ever threw a punch professionally. That's crazy. So he started off with a million, yeah. you know? So, yeah. And me and him used to party, 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 party. Yeah. Oh, man, I got so many stories. <laughs> I'm not going to put you out there, Rocky. <laughs> but, yeah, that's my boy, man. Uh, and yeah. he's a Mexican. Like, i always been cool some kind of way with Mexicans. Yeah. And I think it's... Um, Stem back from the jail time. Yeah, and that's what, that was my, because I speak Spanish fluently. You're right. And, and and I was always trying to improve my Spanish. You're right. So I thought that if I keep a Spanish friend around, Makes we sense. could talk Spanish and you can help me out and, yeah. you know... And, and the more, like right now, my best friend in Mexico. Yeah. The Chicken King. Yeah. El Rey del Pollo. <laughs> Saludos. <laughs> So, uh, right. so you, you hand it out. He got your DVD. He turns it over to the police. How did they come get you? Where were you at? Okay, so this is what they did. First. Oh, you know, you said this. Control. First, stuff. they got to make the control purchase. Control purchase. So this fool called me up. He wanted a, a decent quantity amount of stuff. It was pretty mm -hmm. big. You're talking about Waco did. Waco yeah, did. Okay. And, uh, so he's setting you up. I got to tell you the, end, the other part of this story, too. Right. But, yeah, so he, he makes the control purchase. Yeah. And uh, this is when I hear, because my lawyer, shout out to Stanley Snyder, he was my daddy's lawyer in the 80s. Ah, okay. My daddy made this my lawyer his first million dollars. If you go in his downtown on Louisiana, 440, um, when you go in his office, it's a picture of him and my dad, like on the Newsweek article. Mm -hmm. And it said, they, my dad and him, they got a full pardon from the governor. Because, you know, my dad was a big-time mm -hmm. drug dealer. Right. And uh, he won, Stanley Snyder won all the cases that he worked for my dad. Wow. And then, uh, so my dad always heard about Stanley Snyder, Stanley Snyder, Stanley Snyder. Mm -hmm. You know, growing up, yeah. the great lawyer beat every case, mm -hmm. just like Johnny Cochran. You always yeah. hear Johnny Cochran, Johnny Cochran, yeah. Johnny Cochran, beat for OJ. So I always, but in the drug race, Stanley Snyder was coming from my dad. Man, Snyder beat that, Snyder beat that. It's not, they call my dad red handed. He still beat the case on uh, Man, improper venue or some yeah. crap. He'll find some reason. Wow. And uh, so. When when I did get arrested, I'm gonna rewind the tape. When I did get arrested, I'm sitting in jail and I have no lawyer. And then I'm at the uh, uh, the bail hearing. They mm -hmm. finna they finna decide if they're gonna give me bail or not. Well, the newspaper um, they put me on the front page of the Chronicle when I got arrested. Darn. And uh, and they they were just blasting it, but not because of me. Because of my dad. Your dad. Yeah, and then boxing and then they the put drug all this stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it the story got bigger than it should have been. And then I'm sitting in there, a bell here, trying to see if they're gonna give me bell or not. And uh all of a sudden I heard I hear uh excuse me, the the judge called Stanley Snyder to the to the to the uh bench and he was working cases with some other guy. Yeah. And I said, Stanley Snyder? And I've never seen him before or nothing. Mm 
Uh-huh. Like, I only heard about them from my dad, but when when they said Judge called Stanley Snyder up and they went and this, and I'm sitting over there in chains and stuff, like, yeah. and I said, Stanley Snyder. So then they came to us one by one. They said, do you have counsel or do you need counsel provided for you? And then when they came to me, they said, you need you have counsel, you, you need counsel provided for you. And I was like, yeah, I already have a lawyer. And it's like, who is his name? I said, Stanley Snyder. And I had not even talked. And they yeah. said, whoa, hold on. And the judge was like, huh? And Snyder looking like, huh? Like, who are you? Yeah, who are you? And they was like, hold on. And they was like, sir, do you want to, do you need time? And he was like, Judge, Your Honor, I, you know. He said, hold on, Your Honor, let me speak to him. And they said, we'll give you five minutes. So he came over there. Because wow. I was like, that's my lawyer, Stanley Snyder. And then Snyder was like, I don't know. Excuse me, sir. I don't know. I'm not your lawyer. Like, wh- why did you do that? Yeah. We could have gotten in trouble and all this. And I was like, he was just talking, talking. He's like, I don't do cases. And I don't, I'm I'm not, you know, because he a big time yeah. lawyer. Yeah. And he don't just, you know, right. it got to be something. You know yeah. what I mean? So he was talking all this stuff while he ain't finna be my lawyer. And he don't know why I did it. And right while he was talking, I said, Johnny Bond is my dad. He said, We'll talk later. 